Hey guys, it's Drew Geraci coming at you with another quick tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how you can easily export your Adobe Premiere Pro timeline into DaVinci Resolve for color correcting, grading, and VFX works. I'll also show you how you can bring it right back into Adobe Premiere. And if you're looking to make that transition from Premiere to Resolve, this is another great way to do it. The process is fairly quick, so just follow along and you'll be editing in both programs in no time. All right, the first thing we want to do is go down to our timeline inside of Premiere Pro. I've already got a little section highlighted. You'll notice that I have made some edits as well as some audio. So what we're going to do is we want to port this over to DaVinci Resolve so I can do some color grading. The first thing we want to do with our timeline selected, I'm going to come up to the file, come over to export, and go down to Final Cut Pro XML. And this is going to create an XML file that's initially going to bring in all of this information from Premiere Pro into DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to label this as the same name as my sequence name, and I'll put to resolve, click on save, and that's all we have to do inside of Premiere. Now we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve, and we're going to go up to File, Import Timeline via XML, and then we're going to go to wherever we save that XML document. I'm going to click that, and this is going to open up our brand new sequence into DaVinci Resolve. Now, it's important to make sure that your timeline settings match those of what was in Premiere. So if you're shooting on a 4K timeline, make sure that your DaVinci Resolve is on a 4K timeline. The same thing with the frame rate. So make sure that all of those sync up together before you start this. Once that's done, you'll go ahead and click OK. This process can take a little bit of time depending on what your system resources are like. If you've got a pretty fast computer, this could just take a few seconds. If you've got a lot of footage uh, and a lot of uh, processing, this could take a few minutes. All right, there you have it. We've just imported the XML file. We can see that all of our files have ported over successfully. I can now scrub through this and uh, it plays back exactly as it would have been inside of Premiere Pro. Now, one thing that you have to remember about moving Premiere Pro over to DaVinci Resolve is that sometimes some of the effects and some of the uh, metadata do not transfer over uh, appropriately. So if you've changed the scaling in any of these shots, let's say you've increased or decreased the scaling or you've moved the Y and X axis, sometimes that does screw up. So you have to be careful to double check that when you get into Resolve. But for the most part, anything you do inside of Premiere Pro will translate properly over to DaVinci Resolve. So let's go through here and add a few different color grades just so we can show you how this process works from start to finish. I'm just going to go in here, add some crazy color contrasts. Why not make it super huey saturation? This is just going to show you guys what the porting looks like and to make sure that it works correctly. This would never be a color grade that I would use, <laughs> but you never know. Someone living on another planet might really enjoy it. All right, and just do a couple of different things here just to switch it up. Just to know what we're doing is actually being taken through uh, in the in the file systems. Okay, so that's good enough there. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the Deliver tab. This is going to be uh, as if we were exporting. We finished up all of our color grading on these shots, and we're going to export this back into Premiere Pro. On the top bar here, we have our render settings under Custom, and if we scroll all the way to the right, we've got the Premiere Pro XML. Go ahead and click that. Go ahead and find the folder that you want to uh, create all of the additional proxies and uh, rendered footage in. I'm going to select this folder. And I recommend using the DNXHR codec. And if you are doing a 10-bit uh, or 12-bit sequence, you can choose whichever format suits you best. I usually do the 10-bit. I will add to render queue. And I will start this out. This is going to render all of our clips out. And then once this is completed, we'll bring this right back into Premiere Pro and we'll see all of our changes made. Great. So the render is complete. I'm going to come back into Premiere Pro. I'm going to go up to File, Import. I'm going to find that XML file that we just exported. I'm going to click on Open. It's going to import those new scenics that we just created, as well as our new sequence shot. And if I go ahead and double click, 
you can now see that we have all of our color corrections made. You can see all the zany, crazy color design I did over here, and it's ported over perfectly, as well as everything is in the same position and spot that it was when we started. And there you have it, guys. That is our start to finish going from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve back to Premiere Pro. Uh, and it's the easiest way if you want to work in both editors at the same time. I hope this was uh, enlightening to you. And if you guys have any questions or you want to uh, learn something new, just let me know. And we'll uh, make it happen. Uh, other than that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really enjoy all the comments you guys leave. And if there's anything else that you want me to do, please just let me know. Other than that, happy shooting. Happy shooting.